Right, so let's have a look at this lad here. See what he's got to say for himself. So it's today's paper, um, 2022, paper two, question four. So this looks like a nice identity there. So prove that, question four, A, part one. So prove that tan A minus B is equal to tan A um, minus tan B over one plus the product of them. Okay, so, I mean, I think that the problem for students here would be where to start, really. And so if you go into your identities in the long tables, they give you all of those there. So here you can see what you have to prove. Well, you certainly can't start with that because that's just putting down a one line answer, which is a circular proof. But, um, Immediately above it there, you've got really what you need. So by saying tan A minus B. So I suppose you're using the, the concept that, that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So that's what you're looking for. So tan A minus B is equal to sine A over cos. Minus b, sine a minus b over cos a minus b. Now, I mean, let's use those identities then to substitute in. And we get, um, so it's sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. Um, just make sure they're on the right side, yeah, so sine is going to be on the top here so that's the first one and then this is going to be underneath so that's cos a cos b plus sine a sine b okay so that's now in there so really what i always say is just keep an eye on the end keep always the end in sight because you have the answer and you just have to guide your way to the end so how you make that now look like this that's really your your solution. Well, you have to make that a one down here, and then you've got to get tans all over the place. So like cos A cos B is kind of the answer there. If you're dividing by cos A cos B, then you're gonna get one down there, which and then you're gonna start getting tans. So cos for to get tans, you need cos is under the line, as you can see. So we're gonna do that here now. So we're gonna divide by so, and I think it's probably good to say it because the problem with these things um, divide by cos A divide by cos A cos B and it's good to say it because the problem here is is not saying what you're doing and just magically coming up with a solution plucked out of the sky and that's they could really come down here like a ton of bricks for that okay so let's go through so you're dividing the whole thing by cos A cos B okay so divide this by cos A cos B well, that will cancel and get sine A over cos A. So let's just take it really step by step so that we're not step skipping anything. Uh, cos A, cos B. So in this case, the cos will cancel and you get sine A. You get sine B, sorry, over cos B. So it's all starting to look promising. Cos A, cos B, we're dividing by that. So now we get that one, which is lovely. It's starting to look like that. Plus, so sine A over cos A, sine B over cos B, so that's the product of the tans. The black and tans, Kamochi black and tans. Okay, so now we get tan A, so really you're finished. I mean, that's pretty quick, but try not to make it too quick. Is it going to tan A minus tan B over 1 plus the product of the tans? The black and tans. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty quick now. And just, I'd say, that's a good question. And I'd say this, the problem there is don't make it too quick and don't make it, um, don't look like you're plucking stuff out of the sky. Now, right tan, next bit is right tan 15 in the form of these surids. Now, they're really, I mean, they haven't said hence or using the above. But really, there's no option. You kind of have to. 
and as you can see it's kind of you got something minus something else so it's looks and then one under here plus so it's really gonna gonna suit the question is which angle to choose well two angles to choose so look any angle in theory that are separated by 15 degrees would suit but the nice easy ones that pop out would be 45 and 30. so if we take a is 45 and b is 30 then a minus b is going to be equal to 15 and that would seem to be a nice easy one for that to work so tan then of 15 would be equal to okay tan of a so tan <coughs> 45 minus tan of b uh, so it's tan of 30 over one plus the product of the black and tans so okay let's just refresh myself what is tan of 30 well that has root three there didn't it and that is one i think that's two that writes one over three yeah so that's and as you can see here that's going to get our our third so and tan of 45 is the nice easy one because that is the one one root two triangle and it's good to draw out these triangles as well for yourself at the side so that you you can then just okay so tan 15 is equal to one minus tan 30 is um a half and tan of 30 is one over root two root three okay plus over one plus one over root three multiply above and below by root three to clear and clean that up so you get root three minus one over root three plus one so that is now looking in the format of that with loads of thirds loads of juicy thirds there so really your a here now is three because we've got root threes okay that's a reasonably easy one well I mean, I'm not going to say that's a reasonably easy one because some students might be thrown by the fact that they don't know why. Uh, well, they might make the connection between this and the next part of the question because some usually they explicitly say using or hence, you know, but they didn't in this case. Um, that might throw some people. And if it did throw you, don't worry about it. You'll still get um, you'll still get the method for it. Okay, triangle A, B, C. And this is, as I said, the first time I've ever seen a root of a root in the leading cert. So a root within a root. And you see that in university maths, all right? In fact, there is a famous sort of university maths question of the root, the root, the square root of 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 root two. It's a famous one. Um, for extra nerds, but um, uh, that one, um, but I've never really seen the leading cert, so it's unusual to see that, I have to say. But let's have a look at this one anyway. Uh, okay, let's go for it. Um, okay. Right, how do we do this? Okay, so I'm smelling a cosine rule here, so let's see. Because you have an angle and then you have opposite things. So you want to find AC. So let's call AC X or something. Okay. Okay, let's call AC X. Um, okay, so throw in the cosine rule there. We've already had the cosine rule, so I'm surprised it's coming up again. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but let's go for it anyway. Um, surprising that they put the cosine rule twice, which makes me a little bit suspicious, but uh, it seems to be reasonable to go for it. Okay, so where are we? Probably gonna buy it. 
Um, yeah. <coughs> there it is, yeah. Okay. A squared plus B squared. Now, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. All right, so, <coughs> uh, so the opposite, so that's nice, so we can square that. So this kind of fiddly yoke here with a root within a root, but we're going to square that, is equal to, okay, the two opposite sides, they're both at now x squared, minus 2pc, so that's minus 2x by x being x squared, cos of 45 and 45 is the nice triangle it's good to get used to these triangles here that's the 1 1 root 2 so cos is going to be 1 over root 2 so that's good now so this guy rooting that is going to be 100 into 2 minus root 2 okay so it's equal to 2x squared minus 2x squared, um, 1 over root 2. <coughs> so, now, so we need x, so it'll be, okay, 2x squared into, into 1 minus 1 over root 2 is equal to that guy. 100 into 2 minus root 2. Okay, so 2x squared, lots of 2s, is going to be equal to 100 over to 2 minus root 2. To probably tell you which format you need to put this in because it's looking very root 2 y. Um, and then you have to cube it. So, okay, let's see what they ask you in terms of what format to put it in. Okay, find the length AC, that's all they ask. Okay, and are we given any lengths already to compare it against? We're not. All right, apart from that skewy one, which is, I mean, that's 2 minus 1.4, it's about 0. 0.6, root of 0. 0.6. So it's going to be, I don't know, 3 or 4 or something. Okay, so just find the length of AC, so just find X. Um, okay, so... That's equal to, okay, 100 into um, 2 minus, I mean, that's 1.44, isn't it? Root 2. So that would be 0. Uh, 0.56 over 1 minus, uh, 1 over, uh, that's, uh, what, 3 over 2, is it? Or 2 over 3. So 0.66. Uh, so it's equal to 56 over 0.34. Multiply that by 3. I'm just approximating now. Okay, so x squared is equal to, okay, 168. Um, did I multiply by the two? I didn't yet. Okay. So, 168 by two, and now I have approximated, so it's gonna be a little out, but um, 168 by two, equal to that, get a square root, and you get about 18.3. So that's not gonna be exactly right, because I did a bit of approximation, but it's but it's going to be more or less on target. So X is that. Okay, so that's X. And I think that's a reasonably okay question. I think this fiddly bit might throw people a little bit. Hopefully it didn't. But that is, that is question four. Now that's quite a, a quick question, I would have thought. Um, didn't take too long, especially that bit. That bit there was quite quick. This bit here might throw people because just the connection with above. And this bit, application of the cross sine rule, 
should be okay for people and it's been examined twice now which is usually goes against their own kind of rules because you want it to be as broad as possible but hopefully that was okay for people